This is your KCTV 5 News Update. Missouri Governor Mike Parson ordered all flags to be flown at half staff at every fire station in the state and government buildings today. It's to commemorate and honor Kansas City Fire Department Communications Specialist Scott Davidson. Paramedic Davidson passed away from COVID-19 last Sunday. His funeral is today at the Crossroads Baptist Church in Wichita. Kansas City Fire Department Captain Robert Bobby Rocha also died last weekend from COVID-19 complications. There will be a drive through visitation for Captain Rocha in Casey Mo tomorrow afternoon. He will be laid to rest at the Mount Olivet Cemetery in Raytown on Monday. Funeral services are at 1030 following a gravesite service at 1230. The COVID-19 curve hit a new high. More than 194,000 new coronavirus cases were confirmed in the U.S. yesterday, and that's a new record high one-day total. The COVID tracking project is watching the numbers. The amount of tests conducted also hit a record, topping 2 million for the first time. The amount of COVID-19 patients being treated at the hospital across the country dipped below 90,000. And the number of deaths reported yesterday was just below 1,400. Storm Track 5 meteorologist Alina Lee with your Saturday weather update. Your small business Saturday weather expect to be very pleasant to be doing anything outside as we are expecting temperatures to climb into the middle 50s by the afternoon. I think we'll peak right around 56 degrees here in Kansas City. Then we'll be back in the 30s, but staying above freezing as cloud cover increases overnight. Sunday is a little cooler as a cold front makes its way through. I think we'll manage to get to the mid to upper 40s though before a second reinforcing air mass of colder air will come in and dry those temperatures down into the 30s when you head through the afternoon on Monday and then upper teens to low 20s possible when you wake up on Tuesday. Have a great day. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.